I'm working on the moldings, these fluted moldings that are glued down to the to the doors for the Seymour bookcase. Here you can see the drawing of just these moldings. There's the upper shaped gothic arches and then there are a bunch of straight parts. Now I'd like to show in this video how I went about making the straight portions of the fluted moldings. And I've got a scratch stock here that that creates a nice groove down the middle of that 3 8 inch thick mahogany material there. So I just use this tool just to get a nice center line groove down that middle. And it I go from both sides to make sure I'm getting it in the middle. And it doesn't go very deep, but quickly I've got a nice center line that I need for guiding the next operation. But first, I'll just use a little V tool to broaden that groove a little bit. That helps to guide this this homemade tool here. This is just a piece of bandsaw steel, old steel, and I've shaped this little cove down here, this little fluted shape. Um, that is three sixteenths diameter. I use uh, some small uh, sharpening uh, pieces to uh, Arkansas stones to, to shape that and flatten it. Get it pretty sharp. There's no... Um, I, I don't create a little... Um, what do you call it? A little flare on the end edge. It's just flat on both sides of this tool and then I just push it into that center groove and keep uh, operating until all the flat is missing from the top face. Then I just turn it around and create the matching flute. I suppose there's other ways of, many other ways of creating this molding. Uh, I considered trying to find some way of using a router, but I gave up trying to figure that out and I don't I find that creating fixtures and uh, jigs take longer to do that than just uh, manually doing it I can get this job done faster this way um, now I will do that on this edge and then also turn it turn that mahogany over that's 3 8 thick material I'll turn that over and create the same uh, shaping well here you can see that I've already done it on the other side and this is ready then to uh, 
slice off a 3 16 uh, shape and I, then I have two straight molding pieces just like that. I think I need five or six of those straight pieces to, uh, to do each door and it's done pretty quickly.